The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Egypt against Cameroon. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. the lineups for the game. Gets things running. It's come loose. Out to the left it goes. He's got it and he's got time. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Yeah, fractional, but fractional is, is enough. He was off. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Looks to slip it through. Crosses one in. Now that was just asking too much of his teammates by playing it in so early. Who's going to make this theirs? Chip through, away from immediate danger. So what now? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Gets it upfield. Gets it back. Aimed long and direct. Passes it through. The assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. And then he... Salah. Mohamed Salah with the ball through. Swept in. Firmly met. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Just a whisker away.
will be the final action of the first half. See your views on the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're off again. Egypt clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. That's a baffling decision to go it alone, Peter, when the odds were, were stacked against. What a wonderful goal! And now it's all about how they handle this from here. Edging ahead again in this second half is best followed up with a, a bold mindset, a bold approach. The skipper set the example. It's up to his teammates now to follow. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. It's a good-looking cross. And he won't reach that. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Whipped in. Egypt have a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Cameroon have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. Pushes it out wide. Early ball. And the ball is out of play. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. <laughs> Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Thrust towards the front line. Great challenge. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and they've made him a, a clear target of their focus to keep him as quiet as they possibly can. Now the pass. Tries to dink it in. Boots it upfield. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Spoon forward. Plays it out to the wing. Looks like a good ball through. Tries a through ball. Defense has got rid of that. Mohamed Salah. Oh, surely that deserved better. 
And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. it out of harm's way and that's that one goal settled it a tense and exciting game that just got away i've been in this position myself and this will be difficult to take they did everything right but score but at least i suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this one